Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on create and use templates to create customized configuration files. So we are essentially creating template files which we can then use in pretty much most places within our um, playbooks to uh, to reference. So we could potentially have a template file with a load of uh, variables or, or the like that we set and we can then call it um, when required to then you call the templates file when required in the playbook to use those variables over and over again we can also use um, ansible facts in the as a variable so obviously stuff like um, ansible underscore host name that kind of thing um, so we don't have to um, manually define those for every single um, instance so you can obviously go look at those kind of details up okay so let's go ahead and create a very simple um, templates file so I'm just going to call it template and in the template we literally just define the variables we want to so we call it let's just do um, host I just do client host name Okay, and we're going to set it to, and we can use a, the Ginger2 template as always, so it's Ansible underscore hostname. And we can then set any other values we want to. Um, config underscore one equals, uh, equals yes. So this is the example in here. Okay, to be actually more correct, we should probably have that as a .j2 file, so .ginger2, uh, ginger uh, so let me just move it to template to template.j2. So we'll just have a look at the format, yeah, nothing's changed there, so I think it's happy. Cool, okay, so now if we want to use it in a um, Ansible playbook, let's go ahead and create a very simple one to go ahead and perhaps move this um, this file uh, let's make a, a template file as well um, so let's make a just an example file on the system using this template so uh, let's just do a VIM and uh, deploy template File. I'll just do deploy file dot yaml so dash 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 uh, we'll just do hosts all okay and now we need to say we're gonna have tasks and we then say template and we're going to say source and the template which is templates.j2 destination is uh, let's just do temp file txt and we're going to do owner is root group root and the mode we can set as zero seven zero zero okay so an example file there and some example settings so if we do a right quit and we'll just do an ansible hyphen playbook hyphen i inventory and then deploy file.yaml It's going to gather the facts this time because it's going to gather the host name of the system we're deploying to. We've got an OK for client one and we've got a changed. So let's go and do a very really difficult, simple. So let's run a quick Ansible command. So Ansible minus I inventory minus. Oh, we need to do all. So we're going to do it against all hosts. We don't really have any other thing else. And then the command we want to run minus A. And then 
let's just do a cat on tmp and then file.txt so save us logging in we can just do a quick check that's way okay so we have the output here so this is the file so we can see the client host name is client one which is exactly what we want and the config one is the manual thing we set because yes so that has worked perfectly so yeah that's really all i wanted to cover there it's it's mainly for that kind of thing so you can use var variables but you can pretty much use a template file for any variables you want to um, reuse over and over again um, or yeah it's just a, a good way to um, to reuse variables and not have to define it every single time um, and we just use it like I just showed you there um, yeah I hope this video has been useful to you uh, thanks again for watching I'll catch you next one um, right now I've just popped up on my sc on the screen uh, my tpublic page uh, that's for any kind of CSG merch if that's anything you're interested in uh, got my Kofi page um, for any kind donations um, if that's uh, something you're interested in um, yep and also just the details of my discord server so that's the best place to ask questions um, also we've got obviously you can ask questions in the comments and I'll try and um, help out where I can but discord place is a great place we've got a bit of a community going there and um, you can reach out to myself and also the community and someone will try and help you. Um, yeah, it's a great community we're building there. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you at the next video. Cheers.